Morning people, camp the trailer build 16. They're flying by. Right, I've got a second bully liner on my box. It's much better if you do it in two. With a stippled roller, same, same. Doors fitted, just got a slight adjustment on the latch. The big fridge slide, all ready to rock and roll. Kitchen's locked up. Yep, ready to go. Still got to work on the kitchen. Got to get a light. That's my electrical vent. Um, sprayed with a rattle can, just aluminium one, black screws. And I'll paint them guards with a roller. Very difficult because you can't get right in. Most of the edges, a little bit dabbing with the, one of them little foam rollers, little foam brushes. The white will spoil it. Around the back, door lock works. These are quite cool. Just flick them out, undo them. So you lift them and they go up, drop off the little hook and drop down and you can adjust them for tightness. And then your roof can go up. Open the door. You know, the roof's not put up all the way because that tree's stopping it, but um, the fan's in. Just needs the electrician to do a bit of work. Did buy a strip light for the back beam. Electrician needs to uh, connect them up when he puts the battery in. Did carpet the bottom. They were only six bucks a pop, three tiles. 500 by 500 and trim them and they were only six dollars for them uh, sticky back vinyl tiles to go on that upper very uh, hard wearing I'm going to put a little trim on here a little metal trim or probably maybe a rubber trim or soft trim <laughs> probably better for my shins and my knees <laughs> rather than a metal one although the mattress should overhang a little I've got that, this stuff on, so i cut the sockets in. Love them. That's from King's, that was 49 bucks. Bolt meter on the top. Two of these, they call them cigarette lighters, but they're actual 12 volt. And the bottom one is a double USB. So I leave the phones on the floor at night, charging up off the battery. Pretty happy with that so far. I think it's coming together. Wife and I went to Spotlight yesterday and got some Aboriginal themed cloth. Uh, that's 1200 wide, which is four foot for the Americans. And this is five, so it'll almost, almost do the full width. And I might just bring it up to this beam bottom of this beam where the fan is. I won't do this bit, probably not. From there down to the other big beam where the light's going to sit down there almost the full width so it gives it a, a nice aboriginal painting feel to the ceiling quite fitting for traveling around australia and doing aussie things my little thai wife's idea i suggested a nice big thai flag but she said no let's go with that so that's the one she picked out yesterday i don't know if they're sundials or turtles or whatever they are but it looks quite cool it's the brownie goldy colour inside all good um, pretty happy with it My wife wants me to put a little trim on here um, so I'll go and have a look I only want to go in I don't know half an inch 10 mil maybe come across I don't want to come all the way I don't need to feel my tent in any way which gets screwed to here so maybe just come in 10 mil if I can get one of these instead of a square corner, I might just get an, out, like an L shape. It goes in 10 mil and then put the 10 mil over and come down the same distance. And maybe do the same to the bottom. Along here. That could quite look quite cool. A little bit to do with the inside of the door. But when you lock this up, out for the day 
you've left this on the caravan park, whatever. You want it locked up. Boom, put a little padlock in them. And that, that lid, that's not going anywhere. Other bumper, uh, other guard rolled. I'd like to get a really tiny roller so you could get in here, but I had to do that with the little foamies. All good. Painted round here, round here. Now when I bought it, um, they only had white wheels. And that bugs the shit out of me. It really does. So, I got the spare out. And I taped it up and give it a light sand and hit it with a rattle can. Just a can, same as I sprayed the, um, the trims and the, uh, the, the electric vent. So there it is. That one's done, I should just do them one at a time. Pull this left one off next. I'm gonna get to it with a jack, take that off. Put this one on, spray that one, put it on the other side. Do the, the other one just over a few days, it's no hurry. Now, I got this out from under the bed. It's okay, it wasn't too bad. But when, if we're out and it's um, got a big suitcase in the way, the boy did say to me, my, my young boy, Dad, what happens if it's pissing down with rain and you're driving on a red dirt track and your flat's covered in shit? Getting your fresh one out from under the bed's okay, but you've got to put the old dirty one back. So, this may be the go. This may be the go. And he's, I think he's right. It looks pretty good there. How about that? What if I, I mean all the weight's on sitting in that A-frame, so if I just put a, a bolt through the side of the fridge and bolt it still. Stop it moving at all, stop it bouncing. All the weight is sitting on the A-frame. Don't think it'll hurt at all and then put the gas bottle bracket in front of it. And that leaves room under the bed or on the back of the ute, all depends on the, the weight of the trailer. Whether to whack a water tank under there which was a very very first idea early days I just didn't do it because I'm worried about the weight but I've got the room under there now if I push that to there I've got access in the room to do that put a little square tank under there but we'll see at the moment I'll just uh, keep the water bottle on the back of the ute because it'll be hooked up so we'll see how we go but I think he's right that looks pretty cool there and it would be a lot easier than Put it back there, the dirty one back there, instead of putting it back under the bed. Could be the go. He's he's right, he usually is on car type things. So I think it looks right. Do another one soon. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. In fact, I'm very happy. Got to stop going to the shop and spending money, that's for sure. Bloody hell. Looking forward to getting away with it about Christmas time. Tara for now, part 16 done.